Hello everyone, it is CT Jet, and welcome back to another video. If my voice sounds a little different, I have braces now, again, and I hate them. They hurt. But anyway, this is CT Jet's part library, a series where I will be taking you through every single part in every single video. So it's very nice, and you can just learn about the parts. So to start off, I will be starting with the robot. If you go ahead in here, you can see the, the uh, the info and obviously all that great jazz you can change the speed of the robot for example I'm just going to set him to walking right and you can see that he's really slow but now if I change him to the fastest speed there you go fast as a nickel or whatever is fast or than a nickel I, I don't even know why I said that. I'm I'm confused. All right. Anyway, there's three modes for the default state. Idle means that it's just standing. Walking means that you know you're walking around. It can walk anyway. And dead means that it's dead, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Roaming is just you know it moves around by itself. I don't want it to be dead. I want it to be walking. And you can see that it just walks. Now, let's go ahead and say that I have a spike bot, and I'm just going to set him to a different thing. You can see that roaming also means it'll fight. And he'll walk around, you know, looking for people to fight. There you go. So, what else is there? You can set the direction that he, they're walking, but you know, left, right, random. And you can also change factions. And if you don't know what a faction is, it's a group of people. So let's say I have my group, which is friendly, and then everyone else is enemy. My group and their group will fight. Or I can have neutral and chaotic, and I, I believe neutral doesn't fight anyone. Uh, you can also change your head equipment. I haven't unlocked anything, but I can get the conical hat. No one wants to kill anyone. I set him to neutral. Yeah, enemy. I can also change it to a cow head. And I'll let you experiment with some of those things. Now, the back equipment, you can set it to like a jetpack or a robot back, but there's unlockables there as well. You can also change the robot front or none, which I'll go ahead and show you what uh, that looks like. Apparently there's a floating hat there. Fix your game. Anyway, that's what it looks on the inside of the looks like on the inside of the robot. Uh, you can also change the feet from uh like uh just regular feet to mini wheels to quadrupeds to a mono wheel. Let's change it to a quadruped. If we go ahead and play that, you can see that it just walks around. Sweetness. Alright, next part, you can also change the bolt set, which I believe changes HP, but I'm not quite sure. Let's go ahead and test that. Alright, that was the first test with, uh, with a, uh, the highest, and now let's test how much damage happens to that. Oh, that was different. About the same. So I don't know exactly what the, that does, but I think it's the strength to get out another robot because I've already mangled that one. Uh, so you can also give it items such as the shotgun, the real gun. Uh, what else can I give it? I can give it a somersault circuit, which, which allows it to spin around in midair, a circuit of regeneration so it can regenerate, and a compressor. I don't. I think that allows it to jump, but I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, go ahead and experiment with these. And I guess that's it for the first part library video thank you guys for watching this has been ctjet99 signing off check out my other videos and if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you